Make sure when you're looking for a Christmas tree, you want to buy a tree permit either online or there's several vendors wherever you're going, whether it's the Matilla National Forest or in the Wenatchee Okanagan National Forest. Absolutely beautiful. And it's snowing today. So we're going to go find a Christmas tree. Let's go see what we can find. Now, it's important to have a plan ahead of time, as well as warm clothes, a reliable vehicle, and an idea of where you're going. Wow. After driving past Cleelum Lake, we turned onto a public road and found a safe place to park once we got into an area where Christmas tree harvesting is allowed. With a newborn and excited golden retriever, finding our tree was interesting, to say the least. But no matter who you go with, here's what you need to know about finding the perfect Christmas tree. It cannot be on private land, wilderness area, campgrounds, or other recreational areas. You also cannot cut within 150 feet of a pond, lake, stream, or wetland area. In this forest, you can cut a tree up to 15 feet tall. Once you find the perfect Christmas tree, it's time to get to work. And make sure you don't leave a stump taller than six inches. The USFS suggests carrying your tree back to the car, not dragging so you don't lose those beautiful branches. And when you get home, make sure your tree has plenty of water and tons of decoration to spread holiday cheer. Definitely a chilly but fun time out there. You can also cut down Christmas trees in the Umatilla National Forest, Mount Baker Snoqualmie Forest, and many others. All the details you need for your Christmas tree adventure are online at yaktrynews.com.